Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable Steam input. Now for this, go to Steam Maker icon in the game, select properties, go to the controller tab. Over here, select disable Steam input and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even, this time you can even select enable Steam input and then check. For many users, disabling Steam input is working fine. Also use the wired connection. When you disable the Steam input, you can use the wired connection. So connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is to, now this is for PlayStation controller. Enable the controller in sound control panel and use the wired connection for this. Now for this, uh, type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to sound now connect your controller using the cable so let me connect the controller now now once you connect the controller over here you can see your controller dual sense wireless controller now make a right click and then click on enable so if this is disabled like this make a right click and then click on enable now once dual sense is enabled now again make a right click and then click on configure speakers quadraphonic next make sure front left and right surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish okay now relaunch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to playstation controller user use ds4 windows you can this you can use this application if you have it installed you can launch it if you don't have it installed, you can install it and then you can launch it, configure your controller and then check. Next step is to update your controller using PlayStation or Xbox Accessories app. Now, if you have Xbox controller, open Microsoft Store and over here in the search box, type in Xbox Accessories app. Open this. If not installed, install it. Now, once you install it, now you can open this. Now, once you open it, now connect the controller using the USB cable to the computer. Once you connect it, it will detect your controller. So I've connected. Now click on these three dots and then you will see update option. So if you see update option, in my case, it's already up to date. So if you see update, click on update over here, continue and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, you have to relaunch the game and then you can check. Similarly, if you have play, uh, PlayStation controller, then install this PlayStation accessories app. So in Google search, you can search and then go to the PlayStation official website. Here you can see download for Windows and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, it will prompt you to install it, install it. And once installed, in my case, it is already installed. Once installed, you can launch uh, PlayStation. Now you can launch the app and then you have to connect your controller. Now, once so here you can see it's uh, detecting my controller and it's saying up to date. So in my case, the controller is already up to date. So if you see update option, you can update it and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So at the top right here, you can see big picture mode icon. Here you can see enter big picture mode icon. Click on it. Click on it. And this will launch the Steam in big picture mode. Now you can launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disconnect all the USB adapter which is connected to the computer which you're not using. Disconnect all the external devices. And you can try to unplug the keyboard and then check if you can. Disconnect additional controller. Like sometimes we have extra control connected. If you have the USB dongle for the controller connected, disconnect it, disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller like Vijo, et cetera, you can disable it or uninstall it and then restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.